Hello and welcome again as usual. Something uh, slightly different today. <coughs> so if you just bear with me a moment and we'll wait for the usual uh, kind of obligatory 30 seconds for people to join. Okay, so in the description uh, today, uh, you'll find a slightly different link. I thought for the end of term, we'll do something really fun. We've done a lot of micro bit stuff, but uh, for the holidays, I'm uh, going to give you the opportunity to spend some time uh, to really make uh, uh, quite a lot of uh, complex kind of platform gaming really easily. So this website uh, that you're looking at now is uh, a free website and it's called make.gamefruit.com. Dot com. And the spelling of that is F-R-O-O-T for the fruit, not uh, like an apple and an orange. And uh, Game Fruit is uh, really useful and it makes really simple games um, that are quite good fun and could uh, you could spend quite a lot of time, I think, getting into it. There are other videos online to potentially explain this uh, a little bit more uh, in detail, but I'm going to give you the basics uh, for this program. Now, you could log in and create an account but for today's lesson you don't need to do that in fact i actively say don't make an account and log in to do it today otherwise one of the um, options that you have isn't going to be available for what you're going to see me do so uh, as long as you're on a computer or a laptop here um, i've not tested this hugely on uh, uh, mobile devices uh, this is uh, needs a mouse really and some accuracy so we're just going to go straight to uh, start making and we're going to have a little play and see what happens. Now, this is a uh, quite a big uh, game here, and you can do quite a lot of things uh, in your design. So it may take a little longer for you to load your screen than me, um, depending on where you are in your house with your internet connection. So don't worry if that bit takes a, a little bit longer. Now, if you do log in and create an account, which again, I'd, I'd say don't do now, if you do create an account, you'll have more options. The grayed out options that you see uh, will be available to you. Um, but we're just going to play around with the starter platform game because it helps up, it helps us uh, do things a little bit more easily and a little bit more quickly. So here, I'm going to go straight into starter platform. And again, it may take your computer a little bit longer to load into this uh, than normal. Um, because there's a lot for this to do. You can see it's taking mine a while. It's loading up the sprites, and we, we looked at that term the other day uh, when we looked at gaming, uh, so the characters and everything else to go with that. But this looks a lot better than the stuff that we've been used to using the uh, micro bit. So without logging in, like I've said, you go straight to this area here, and you will find uh, this uh, kind of help. I'm going to take you through that. So we can just click next and done, and we can close down this uh, this window here, uh, and I'll take you through the whole thing. Now, what we do straight away is just let's have a play. Let's see uh, what this looks like without us doing everything. So you go into the top corner here where the orange is, and you click play, and as that goes through, um, it will open up a window in the middle of the screen where you can use your arrow keys uh, to go left, right, and continue. Now you'll notice the background doesn't move at all. Uh, the floor does, and I've got nothing out here, and if I jump off, there's got absolutely nothing, and I seem to fall forever, maybe fall out, and that's it. So the reason for that is, as you can see here, there's nothing else around. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Terrain uh, Brushes here. We're going to click uh, Terrain Brush there, and you can see here at the background, this becomes important, that it did go to the terrain layer. Sometimes if things aren't behaving properly, it may well be that you've clicked accidentally one of the other layers. But when you're dealing with terrain and objects you want to jump on, you should be dealing with the terrain layer and that should be highlighted. So I'm going to click and drag out a table there. You can, uh, a, a platform there, you can click individually and they'll grow as you do that. And let's just see what that does to my game. So I press play, 
Again, it takes a little while to load, so if your computer connection is uh, a little bit slower, you might want to wait and not press play to test as much as I am. And then you go across, and using the up key as I'm going across, I can jump to my platforms, and they're there. Noticing that the game background has remained uh, where it is, and I'm able to go backwards and forwards. So you don't need to have lots of backgrounds, you just need the one to represent what will be in frame. Uh, we can add some extra things down here. We can add collectibles, so coins uh, to grab, and we can have scores for those as well. So you can click as many of those uh, things as you want to collect. As we go down, we can grab extra health. Uh, so just grabbed something down there to collect extra lives. Uh, doors and keys we'll get to in a moment because you need a key to open a door so the door will remain closed. Checkpoints in case we die uh, and it will bring us back to certain checkpoints. So I'm just going to bring one here and uh, just do a, a small checkpoint there. And end points for the game. Now I probably might not get there today with this, uh, but we can add extra layers, but I'm going uh, extra levels, sorry. Um, we have NPCs, which are non-player char uh, characters that the computer controls, and we'll talk to that in a minute. Other miscellaneous objects that we might get to. Damage, so I might cause myself some damage uh, just before I collect some health. Uh, some instant death items, so I will do that one there. I'm going to I'm going to try and make this jump a little bit harder and just have my instant death item there. And we can have story points. So maybe it's like uh, welcome to the game. And if you do some of these objects that we have, when you click on the little icon, they're very small. Uh, when you come off it, it doesn't do anything, go on it. You can click on them and it will, sh it will, it will suggest which one you're trying to uh, change. And this is the story point. And we go to edit object behavior here at the top to change a message. Welcome on your journey. And I can close that down. We have switches, which we'll get to again in a moment. Teleporters to take us to different areas of the game. Uh, other items, weapons, uh, bullets there. Uh, menu items uh, we might not get to. And heads up display. So uh, let's drag a health bar in anywhere at the top here so I can see uh, where my health is going to be. Um, I'm just going to check in, just might be worth just showing what these do. Uh, HP there. Um, might have a look at uh, a score potentially. We put these things around, just play around. We can always delete them afterwards. And we're going to get to moving tiles as well. So I've added a few things in here. So let's uh, play the game and just see uh, what's going on. Again, be patient when it's loading up for the uh, testing screen. The more things we add, the longer it will probably take uh, to load up there. And as we go through, there's my message. Welcome on your journey. I can collect a coin, collect more coins. Now the score isn't changing, so I might have to come back to those later uh, and check those out. I've got fire, so you can see my health is reducing as I was stepping over that. I had a checkpoint, and then I can go for my food to get a bit more health there, as it did. And if I do go to that instant death, it should bring me back at the checkpoint, which probably poorly placed, as you saw there, because the checkpoint was burning me straight away um, when I came in. So, And there you go, you can see that score, that zero there, so might have to do something to change that. Uh, so I'm going to close and press, uh, no, I don't want to press an account yet. So I'm going to click on that and uh, just uh, delete it or just move it away out the screen for the moment. So uh, number, delete object, and you can just drag that there if you want to delete it. I probably have to assign it. I'm also going to delete my health points as well, actually. I don't need to see my scores for the moment. I get to move that fire a little bit because we realized it was burning me uh, straight away. And uh, yeah, that looks about right. So let's play around with some more items to make our game uh, better. So we've dealt with terrain, that's fairly easy. Uh, what I'm probably gonna do is move around the screen now. And you, you can't move off the screen because I'm on pointer mode. So you need to change that to the up, down, left and right arrows here uh, to move uh, across the screen to add more things. So I'm going to move into a snowier realm now, I think. Here we go. And I'm going to jump off and 
possibly hit my first baddie. So here we go, go down the screen. I'm also going to produce a door. Let me just, I'm going to show you what the, that is in a moment. And you need a key to open the door. So I'm going to put a key down that um, I'm going to try and avoid uh, first off and just to see if, uh, so I'll put it, um, I'll put it over here and I'll avoid collecting it and then come back and get it afterwards. So I will put the key here and try and jump over it and got my checkpoint already discussed that and let's have a character uh, in here uh, ready to attack us so I'm just going to check one out and I'm going to stick it in here that's a character ready to come and get me so let's have a little look at what that does so far again waiting for it to load the more we have the longer it takes but it's not too bad I think it's uh, it's very good and we go around so I'm going to try and avoid that key there we go collect hit my checkpoint collect my food jump over and you can see now I've got a door that won't open if I walk into it now I've poorly created this game because I could just jump over the door to get to my character and there he is trying to get me and if I go into him you can see my health removing so I have to try and jump away from him and he walks towards me and he follows me around so uh, not too bad if I try and jump over that door because it's uh, not open I'm struggling and I've died but if I'd have collected my key that I don't particularly need by the looks of it then the door would have opened and one of the interesting things is I think the characters try and follow you and then he goes off the screen there even without a weapon so you could see there there's still some work to do here so I can close and what I'll probably need to do in my terrain is give myself some form of uh, wall at the top here. So use the wall icon, drag it up to give me uh, the ability so I can't uh, jump over that door. I need to collect the key to go through there. Now, other items that we can see after the NPCs a miscellaneous item so worth maybe just testing those out I'm gonna I'm gonna now move across the screen and allow myself to uh, just grab one of those and then I'm gonna come down and allow myself to go to this level and then walk along here and let's test some of these other items out so we have uh, miscellaneous items so let's just Put one down and see what effects they may or may not have on anything. Uh, mystery box, maybe a balloon, does it do anything? Let's have a look. And we've got the damage, we could have an extra damage here. We've got more instant deaths, so maybe we have to jump over this item here. Uh, we could have story points to continue the story as we as we go. And I'm going to here say leap of faith. And press close. And then I'm going to change my terrain here to a new type of terrain. I'm going to go in now for this kind of wooden object, but I'm going to put this off here. There we go. And what I'm also going to have a look at as I go down, so I've used uh, quite a lot of items now, is uh, I'm going to have a look at uh, weaponry. See if I can drag a weapon in. Let's see what that looks like. And uh, I'm going to have a look at a moving tile. Now at the moment, I'm just going to stick that moving tile here and just do nothing else with it. And let's play our game. We've added uh, quite a little bit more complexity uh, to the game now going around creating different objects so I'm going to collect my key this time uh, lose a little bit of health to prove it collect my checkpoint eat some more health bring me up to full health avoid oh there we go just while I hit the to oh there's a moving tile that's pushing me in there let's have a look at that later that's just flown off let's have a look why so go oh, I'm getting really bad at this jump, aren't I? So let's go here. Made it. 
can't jump over this wall anymore, so I fixed that. Opened the door because I had a key. Got the baddie who's seen me, so I'm going to avoid them now. Run off this way, run off that way, lose a bit of health. Got to hit the, so there you go, the spring seems to push things along. That's interesting. I'm going to try and avoid the... Oh, didn't avoid the instant death. And I ran out of lives, which must have been three lives. Uh, so there we go. So I'm going to get rid um, of this death ray because it was causing me some issues. Uh, delete the object. Uh, I've seen what the spring does now. So I'm going to delete that again. And then I'm going to have a little play of the game. Now, we saw this object here. Now, the reason why that object did what it was is because if we click this little icon and go in and say edit object behavior it says that the end location of the object is zero zero now here we have um, x and y coordinates now if i move up to the top here we're getting towards or move around here we're getting towards our zero zero so if i move all the way over here this point at the very top of the screen there is zero zero so the object was trying to move all the way to here and then back again. So that was a really weird and uh, bad way of working. So to move the uh, movable areas, I'm going to start it or place the object, uh, which you need to change from move to select. And I'm going to move that object close here. I'm going to click on that object and go to the edit object behavior again. And I could manually type in some X and Y coordinates here. Or if you click the blue just once only where it says select, the very next place that you select will be where that goes. 2068 to 1016. Let's just close that. Yeah, it looks to be around about where I clicked looking at these values. So you could manually type these in just by saying I want it to go here, which would be 2433 on the X and 761 on the Y, or you can just, like I said before, click, click the object behavior, click the blue, and then click once again to select that object, then close. Okay, now let's play and see if we've got a slightly better game and we're getting there. And this is the whole point of game design, is the ability to go through, test it out, stretch the, the levels of difficulty, learn what works and what doesn't, and I might add myself a checkpoint because in case I keep dying here, open my door, go through, jump over my baddie who I lose, losing a bit of life there, quite a bit of life actually, which is probably, uh, oh, there you go, got him. Just going to see if I can avoid this. I don't know if I've got enough health. Oh, there we go. And these objects look like they just get pushed. So we're going to have to play and they don't do anything as well. They don't fall down. They don't they don't obey, obey any rules there. Now, the reason why I now saw that leap of faith is because I couldn't see what to do next here. And sometimes you have to give uh, the gamer or the player a clue about what to do. And you could end up uh, giving them hints on how to get past certain things. So I've got my leap of faith. There you go. Now I have uh, my object and can't find any bullets to shoot uh, by pressing the space bar, make sure you've placed them in my level. And learn, look at that object going backwards and forwards. That is looking like it's doing quite a good job now. So uh, I'm just going to wait for it to come back. I'm going to jump and there we go. We're getting to where we need to go on our uh, object there. So doing quite well, um, but all it's going to do now is go back when it hits end location. So I'm going to press close. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to collect some bullets, uh, maybe later on in the game, because you want to make the uh, user do some things. So I'm going to go back now and select another terrain, as if we're hitting a new world. So here we go. And I'm going to jump that up. And there's a reason why I'm about to do what I'm about to do. And that's because we noticed that the baddies seem to run off the edge of the uh, the clip. You can go in and we can edit that later, but let's just do this simply. So I'm going to add in a new uh, baddie that I'm going to have to come to, one that's there, and I'm going to have to try and defeat him. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to utilize uh, the whole area of my level. So I'm going to come in here 
and I'm going to go through and realize, do you know what, I've got quite a bit of unused space around here. Uh, and rather, I've run out of space to, I should have planned my level, I think, a little bit better because I've got a lot of unused space down here as well. Uh, well, actually, maybe let's use that. I'm going to go down here first and I'm going to try and utilize all this unused space. So I'm going to use, uh, what one should we go for now? I haven't used this one. I'm going to utilize this space and I'm just going to draw down and potentially come up with some extra baddies, maybe some extra issues to deal with as I do this. There we go. And what I'm going to do now is take a note of, uh, give the selection tool back, I'm going to take a note of these coordinates because it's quite difficult to do. I'm going to say, um, I'll make, make sure they're easier to remember, 700 and on the X 20. So 20 on the X and 700 on the Y. And what I'm going to do on that is I'm going to add a teleportation. So I'm going to go down to where my teleportation was, down here, and I'm going to place my teleport here. So if I make it to this area, I click on this green area now, and then when I edit the object behavior, once again, I can click select, but the area that I want to get to is off the screen. So that's why I made a note of 20 in the X direction. You can write that down if you want to. And 700 in the Y direction. I press close. And then that should take me to my new area here. And what I might do is uh, I might add some liquid, see what happens uh, with the liquid area. So I'm going to go in now and add a little pit here of some description. And I'm going to get my liquid which is over here, make it a bit of lava. We all like a bit of lava there. Okay, and then that should move around. Let's see what happens on that one. Uh, I did forget to uh, add some ammunition. So I'm going to uh, collect some ammunition, the bullets, uh, which was sorry, a little bit down the way here. I'm going to add my bullets here. In fact, actually, what I might do is place them over here to make me jump over the character to collect the bullets, uh, just adding that extra level of difficulty to me there. And to make this jump a little bit harder, I might see if I can add some instant deaths to that. Uh, so that was here. There we go, I might add that there and just see what that does. And you don't want, because we know what the game does, I could cheat by just walking off the edge here. So you do want to make sure that you add it in an areas where you can't cheat, or maybe you're trying to put that in as a, a hint or a, a kind of cheat that you've placed into the game that only you know uh, to make it more interesting. And game designers do like to put hidden, hidden objects and hidden things in there. And we're getting quite close to using virtually everything in the game. We haven't explored these items uh, very much yet, uh, but we have got pretty much everything there in the game. Uh, yeah, so still a few other, other objects, but we've got enough, I think, to have a go at what will be, I hope, quite a nice game. So uh, let's press play. I've not really added any checkpoints in, which probably might annoy me in a minute if I don't make my way to the end of this game. So collect my key, collect my that, lose some health, hit a checkpoint, grab some health, avoid the death, walk through the door, avoid the baddie because I don't have anything to get in with, go down there, lose a bit of health. These things don't do anything, so let's just push them off the screen right now. Uh, it says leap of faith. We're getting there. I collected my gun. Couldn't go past this part. Waiting. I hope I don't mess this up. I'll take me to the checkpoint all the way over there. Oh, close. Got that. There we go. Now notice where that platform goes to. I should have possibly reset that. Ah, he's coming to get me. There we go. So now I quickly jump over, over him. Oh, no, my bullets aren't there. So uh, <laughs> I did regret that. Let's see if I can actually cheat by falling down there. Oh, look at that. So that's a, a game exploit that I need to uh, work out. But unfortunately, 
I can't get myself back over to uh, play part of that game. So I'm going to refresh it. In fact, what I'm going to do before I do that is uh, I'm just going to check. I didn't see any bullets um, when I was having a look there before. Um, yeah, not too bad. I'm just going to didn't seem to come and try and follow me but then I was running away from the baddie uh, what I might do just to stop him from doing what he did there was put a blocker in there so if he does fall down um, he's limited to that area and also I noticed with my moving platform I need to click that do the edit object behavior and select here because it was going too far into the object from before so again in fact, what I might do is, uh, just for my own peace of mind, also stick in a checkpoint. I think I deserve it once I've got the gun. So press play. And load it up. So again, there's, uh, like I said, we've not got to the end of our game. We've got lots of testing uh, to occur within this, but I think it's all part of the fun and you can push the boundaries of everything that you want to do, make it harder, make it easier. Uh, you get to choose where everything is. Oh god, he took a fair bit of health off me there. Ooh. Oh, pushing these off the side so I can go down. Leap of faith. Got my gun. And now I have a checkpoint in case I die uh, this time round. There we go. Maybe you have no checkpoints. Maybe you have a very hard game. There we go. Not too bad. There. So I'm going to make him come over here to get me, jump over, see if I can find where the bullets are, and then ah, now I've got them. So I got my bullets. They were hidden though, um, so that's a bit uh, that's not the greatest in the world. Um, but I've collected them. I've retained my gun and my ammunition. So maybe we need to make it a bit more obvious. Maybe we need an object that represents uh, the bullets to get that more obvious. But here now I can try and get this person oh it's quite, it seems a bit it seems there we go got the baddie go to the teleport and it teleports me right where I thought it would brilliant and I've got my instant death now what happens when I go into this oh no liquid it looks like I walk over the top so I might have to change some settings there as well jump over the top and then go down and so far I've got the game still got that baddie trying to get me so I'm getting there with this game it's turning into uh, a larger game uh, some errors that I had were going in here and I'm going to click on the, uh, the liquid so I have to use the select tool click on the liquid which are the props I'm having a little bit of issue. I'll click on the terrain layer. See, that's what seems to happen there. And then I need to click it. Oh, having some issues with this. Let me just uh, check that out. Okay, go back to terrain. There we go. There we go. Uh, so that so those are the issues that sometimes we have that uh, we're in the wrong area for the the props. Sorry, all the terrains. Um, so we need to check which one is is which on on all of those um, so do be careful of them but you can see we're getting there uh, with all the items that we have and it's about playing around uh, and getting to know them um, I think the objects that we have here uh, that didn't work if I go and click on one at the top here we can uh, click on the items in there to see what we want to do to it to view the animation add script to see what it does and then we get ourselves into very similar um, area that we did when we talked about the micro bit or scratch when level starts do something so you can go in here when level starts what other things uh, might you do um, physics uh, which is uh, set gravity so you can actually affect uh, gravity acceleration uh, how the thing moves what collisions happen so we're going to go into slightly more depth I suspect with this where we go that uh, we won't run into after half an hour today so I think today we'll end it there that uh, we can go into more depth with uh, where the objects are this will not save <laughs> unless you uh, create an account. So do be aware of that. Don't spend hours and hours and hours making a game that you can't then uh, save, otherwise that'll be annoying. Um, 
experiment with all the other things. Do check YouTube to see if you can find out some other stuff. And then we can go and create our own events and our own levels because you can actually do the end point, uh, which are which, uh, just those, and then you can add extra levels and create it. So we have level two that's here and uh, we can add an extra level which is level three. Then you can drag in your own um, background. So we can say actually we've made it to the desert level and then you can start to build in uh, the animation, the terrains. So I think probably better with a kind of more desert orientated uh, background. Now here, like I said, we were on background layer. So I'm going to add a new layer which is um, sometimes it allows you to make a new tile map layer. There we go. Sorry, a new tile map layer. And that enables you to map the tiles uh, onto there. OK, now just to show you what that looks like, I'm going to go to level one. And I'm going to go in here and add my endpoint just in. So I'm going to put it my endpoint right at the beginning. I will delete that. This is just to show you uh, what happens. It'll be the worst level ever. Can just uh, step into the end and let's see what happens now I have a suspicion it's going to take me to death there you go the reason why I ex uh, uh, expected that to happen is that uh, level two which was that one was first so the endpoint takes you to uh, the next level so we can uh, delete or move uh, the levels for the game over uh, the properties remove the level I'm just going to remove the level for now rather than get into that and so now when I press play the next level was the desert level uh, that it won't spawn me into because uh, I need to write some extra code that I'll show you next time but it's to show you the idea that once we get past this you can then go on to the next stage of the game which would be there so again a lot more complexity that we can add but we've given you enough today to spend some time making some games and have a play uh, and have a good Easter Easter holiday um, I might dip in and dip out with some extra ideas uh, for what goes on here uh, but uh, enjoy the Easter break uh, take some time to yourself and you know giving you enough ideas here to play around and uh, have some fun leave some comments if you've got some ideas of what else you'd like to have a look at and uh, i'll endeavor to do that myself so thank you very much everybody uh, have a good easter break and take care